Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your action button on your iPhone 15 Pro. Following this process will allow you to customize this button to your liking so it is mapped to whatever software feature you would like. It's a pretty simple process, but it can really enhance the productivity and usability of your iPhone 15 Pro. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the iPhone 15 Pro is the first iPhone to remove the Ring R silence, which has been on pretty much all iPhones since the beginning and in favor of this action button. So this is just a button that sits in the same spot and you just click it and it, it acts like a normal button. However, it is customizable and you can map it to whatever you would like. So by default, it is set to silent mode, just like all iPhones have been in the past. So when I click it, it'll tell me that it's in silent, but to actually change the setting, I have to hold it down for a couple of seconds and you'll see that it then flicks it to ring and then it will flick it back to silent. And on the iPhone 15 Pro models, um, when my location thing goes away, there you go, you'll see it now shows the silent icon up there by default so that you know it's in silent because there's no physical way of determining what mode your phone in, is in these days. And if we swipe into the um, control center, you'll see that we now have a button just like on the iPad to activate and deactivate silent mode. So that's now a software feature because it is not a physical switch anymore. Now, if you would like to customize this, all you have to do is go into settings and then scroll down until you see action button, then click on action button and you'll see it opens up this cool looking new menu. So you can swipe through the different options and it gives you a little description of what it is. So by default, as I said, it's on silent mode and it says switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. We could then set it to a particular focus mode. So we could turn on focus to silent notifications and filter out distractions. So, and then we can click the drop down and you can see I can either use do not disturb or sleep or whatever focus modes I have set up on this device. So you can see that if I hold this down now, it flicks between do not disturb on and do not disturb off. So this is a really handy feature that you can use to sort of toggle between your do not disturb modes or any other focus modes you may have. We can also have a quick toggle to the camera and you can even set what mode you want the camera to open to. So we can choose between photo, selfie, video, portrait, or portrait selfie. So by default it's on photo, but you could set it to video or whatever you want. So then if we hold down the action button to open camera, you can see it goes straight into opening the camera and then I can use it from here. So that's a really helpful tool. Um, then going along, you can see we can use it as the torch. I think this is a quite a helpful one. So you can just turn on or off the torch here. We can use it for a voice memo, so to start recording a voice memo, that would be handy. And then a magnifier, a shortcut or accessibility, or you can just set it to no action so it does nothing there when you hold it down. Um, so if we start by looking at shortcut here, this is where the most flexibility comes in. So if you don't like Apple's preset options, you can decide to use a shortcut and this lets you do almost anything on the phone. So you can open a certain app, you can start playing recently played music, make a new note, go to your favorite calls and so much more. So there is so much you can do on this. So if I clicked open app, I can then choose a particular app that I would like this to open. So for example, if I wanted it to open the 2GB app, the radio app in Sydney, I can do that and it will open it up and it will slowly load in. So that's really handy if I wanted it to do that. Um, so that's one of the options I could particularly uh, specifically do. And then the same goes in accessibility. So I could quickly use an accessibility feature and I can choose the features that I would like. So maybe I would want it to invert the colors. I can do that there by just holding it down and it will invert the colors there. So yeah, and then once you decide what you want to do, you just leave it on there. So let's say I wanted to leave it on the torch. I'll just leave it on there and then it will flick away and then we can go back and then that's what it will be on. So then we can hold down the torch here and you can see that it works like that. So even when it's in silent mode, we can just use the torch 
you'll see activate to live activity here for the torch and then I can turn it on or off from there. So yeah, that's a really quick and easy process on how to customize the action button on your iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max. I think this is a really handy feature that is uh, going to be used by many and it just allows you to really unlock a little bit of extra customizability on your iOS device. Now, this is probably one of those things that either you'll use and you'll love it or maybe you'll um, just leave it on silent mode and just forget about it, which is sort of what I've done for the first few weeks. But maybe after this video, I will start using it a bit more um, for some of the features it has available and I might try and get some extra capabilities out of it. So I do think for some people, this will be quite handy and they'll really make some good use out of it. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in customizing the action button on your iPhone 15 Pro. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me, especially if they're relating to maybe more tutorials on the new iPhone 15 series, because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.